How Executive Compensation Plans Work Meet Tim Cratchit, a 45-year-old married man with three children. He's a talented software programmer who's been with Dickens Systems for years. Dickens Management considers him to be extremely valuable. They also realize, however, that Tim might be lured away by a competitor who may offer better pay and benefits, and that concerns them. To create an incentive for Tim to stay for the long term, Dickens and Tim enter into an agreement whereby the company agrees to pay either retirement or death benefits to Tim in exchange for his promise to remain with Dickens. Their agreement states that if Tim stays until retirement, the company will pay Tim $20,000 a year for 10 years after his retirement. If Tim should die before he retires, the company will pay his family $20,000 a year for 10 years. If he should die during the first 10 years of retirement, the company will pay Tim's family $20,000 a year for the number of years remaining in the agreement. The company informally funds this unsecured promise with the purchase of $200,000 of life insurance on Tim's life. The company completely controls and owns the policy. Creating this executive compensation arrangement with Tim gives Dickens management greater assurance of Tim's commitment to stay until retirement. With this assurance, they feel like they've won in many respects. In addition, the benefits paid by the company as reasonable additional compensation are an ordinary business expense that may be tax deductible to the company. But Tim also wins. He gains an additional source of retirement income and if he dies prematurely or during the first 10 years of retirement, he gains an immediate payment to his family. Because of the variety and complexity of executive compensation arrangements, both the business and the employee should research available options thoroughly to ensure that they accomplish their specific goals and objectives. The best bet is to work with a financial professional to pull it all together.